All right, we're gonna make this image look like this image using some software that you can find at clicksandpixels.com forward slash plugins. This particular software is called Null Light Factory for Photoshop. Click their link on the Clicks and Pixels website and you can download a free demo copy um, that will allow you to test the software out before you buy it. Let's start with the sunset what we can do is go with this glow ball it has a, a center intensity if you will um, you can make it as bright as you want it if we change this color to an orange it's going to look more like a sunset very cool looking there kind of put that right in there looks really natural good color good intensity can make it anamorphic it kind of widens it out but I want to make this subtle because we're gonna do a lot more lighting so we're just gonna let this kind of tuck in the background let it process and there's our Sun now onto the flashing lights we're gonna go back into null I think I'll do a blue on this side and a red on this side so what we have to start with is a color a light we can do the red on this side now we need to get a stripe in there so if we add that stripe element we make that color red then we can change the angle softness down just a bit and then the length down so it doesn't shoot too far over the subject it's very subtle. I'll go into the glow ball and we'll change this to red. That's looking pretty good. I like that. I'm going to look at this stripe angle. I'm going to do it this way. The way I had it before is going right before, right in front of those officers' faces. Let's do it like this. Keep it out of their face. I'm liking that and just go ahead and confirm that and then we go right back in and it's gonna apply our last setting so the red giant null it's setting another one on top we need to put this right over here on the, the blue one and then we just go in and we change our stripe color to a dark blue and the glow ball to a dark blue and then we'll change the angle. That's the gamma. Undo. I'm on the wrong one. Stripe. The angle of the stripe. Kind of got the red going this way and the blue going this way. I like that. Very subtle. You can put it on whichever light we want. Now I'd like to take the intensity of this glow ball up. Just a bit. I think that is good. I like that. So this image is really coming together. Got the uh, flashing lights in there. Now let's look at these gas lamps. Back to the program. It's going to load us up another siren. That's doubled that siren on the blue. So we're going to take the stripe out of here. Delete that. And then on our glow ball, we'll start over here take the scale of this glow ball down and then we'll change to white so if we go off on just very subtle I like the idea of it being a pure white I'm happy with that and now we just gotta rinse and repeat this drag it over to this one Put it in the middle of those. Be fine. Drag it there. Just adds a lot. It really adds a neat look to those gas lamps. I think on this side we might be able to go a little bigger on the scale. 
Mm. If we just stick, it's probably best. We don't want it to blur out some of the detail. And I'm just going to go ahead and add this to every single one. As you can see, it's really easy. This is great software, easy to use. Go to clicksandpixels.com forward slash Zach U for the full tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to Clicks and Pixels on YouTube if you're interested in getting more of these free videos.